guys welcome to my second part of the black phone video the setup video so in the first part we unboxed this device and now we will set it up so let's open the back cover yeah I don't pr want to break it so yeah but it's pretty hard to open it so here is the as it says on the, the writing the micro SD port and the micro SIM board so I brought an adapter for my nano SIM from 3 and a 32 gig micro SD card yeah so let's put these cards inside the micro SIM goes in there yeah the adapter doesn't fit very hard to into it so I have to okay yeah sorry for this but I guess the adapter doesn't fit very good so let's see if it can be slided in yeah so it's slided in and now we have a micro SD card goes in there and let's put the battery back and the back cover back on and now let's see if the battery is already recharged the black phone logo a nice boot animation and here we have the setup let's choose English let's choose a set your password the screen lock is the first line of defense for your data to protect your privacy and you should always have a pin code okay let's choose 111 and it says please pick a pin at least of five digits okay and they want me to choose a password yeah so I guess no let's take the pin four five digits yeah says done and now we have to encrypt your data. Enabling encryption protects you when your device is turned off. If you skip this step now we will remind you later. Yeah okay let's skip it. Encrypt your data. Enabling encrypt encryption protects you when your device is turned off. We will remind you to encrypt your data later. Skip it use Wi-Fi yeah this is the Wi-Fi of my Xiaomi G this is mine we will use cellular data now so we have to uh, scan a QR code to enable uh, the bundled apps 
let's see if I can find the code somewhere in the box. So there is somewhere a code. Yeah, so the warranty guide, a quick start guide. Yeah, here is the activation code. No, this is not the code. Yeah, here is here is a, a QR code. So let's scan it. Yeah, we couldn't find that barcode. Please try again. Okay. Well. This doesn't work properly. Well, I guess I have to set it up later. Yeah. Notifications. This um, Android um, uh, um, operating system is private. O is called bri uh, private OS. Is based on Android four point one, I guess. Uh, it says uh, nothing here. One four point one or four point four. I guess yeah, it looks pretty old. And here we see the intro startup guide. The yeah, and now we have the ho home screen. Five home screens, and in the middle we have the starter bundled apps. So the silent phone app the silent text app, the silent contact app, a security center app, secure wireless app, smart Wi-Fi manager, spider oak, black, this is a f VPN bundled uh, service and a remote wipe. So the buttons look like, yeah, launcher has stopped, this is awesome, this is of course not awesome but yeah of course uh, let's see what's uh, inside the app bundle we have all the Android apps which are not Google apps so music messaging gallery email camera clock browser calendar and calculator and some special apps provided by the company Blackphone for example the remote wipe secure wireless secure center let's see what this is your device is not encrypted Blackphone rec recommends that you encrypt your device tap on start wizard to start the device encryption yeah let's do this quickly or not so quickly because it wants me to recharge the battery I will do this in another video yeah so this uh, smartphone is already set up I guess yeah I will do this later in another video so let's have a quick look at the settings <coughs> here we have um, standard Android settings menu let's see what we have we got here yeah from 12.78 gigab gigabytes total so it says on the box it's a seven 16 gigabyte uh, model so from 16 gigabytes there are 12.55 gigabytes available 
and it's split in the usual five categories of Android, so apps, pictures, audio, downloads and caged data. Yeah, and here we have the SD card from the 32 gigabytes are two gi uh, 30 gigabytes available. So, yeah, let's go back. Let's see what's the battery. Yeah, this is what's the battery look. Yeah, there are power savings uh, available. So yeah, you can choose between save battery, balance and maximize performance. Maximum cores 4, frequency limit is off and app FPS limit is 30. At the save battery mode we have a frequency limit of 1.8 gigahertz, maximum cores 2 and the maximized performance is maximum cores 4. Frequency limit is off and F FPS limit is also off. Yeah, let's go back and see what we have here about phone. Android version, I was wrong before, Android version is 4.42, so it's uh, pretty old to be honest, because now we have 6.01 Marshmallow, this is Jelly Bean. And we have a build number of KOT49H Private OS. Yeah, and now I'm a developer. Let's see what's inside of updates. Yeah, it updates weekly. Status, battery level 46%. Yeah, there is the IP address and stuff from my carrier. Yeah, developer options. Let's see what's inside. The typical Android developer options, I would say. Yeah, so nothing much new here. The really new stuff is compared to the standard Android is here with um, power saving and security. So we have some options here. Screen lock is pin number. Automatically lock 5 or 15 or 30 seconds or more after sleep. Power button instantly locks. Owner information can be put in here. Encrypt phone. Set up a SIM card lock. And device administrators storage type. What is storage type? Okay, it's software only. Anyway, let's go back and see what Oh, that's a surprise. You can only add a email account, not a Google account, of course, because it comes with standard Android and not Google enabled Android. So there is also a Google Play Store missing, but there are ways to sideload this app, so I don't uh, think there is a problem when you want to have a side loaded apps so yeah it's pretty standard let's have a quick look at the camera remember photo locations yes so this is the camera app and yeah this is the stock Android camera app with yeah it has HDR mode 
and the video mode and a panorama mode. So let's quickly snap a picture. Let's see what we have here. If we zoom in, okay, the 8 megapixel camera isn't very the best one. What do we have under details? Uh, an aperture and exposure time and ISO. So the focal length, length of the camera is 3.7 millimeters. So it's a pretty uh, wide angle. And the photo size is 700 kilobytes because it's only 8 megapixels. Yeah, let's go back and let's go back to the home screen. So this was my quick first setup of the Blackphone BP1. If you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment or share this video. Okay, goodbye guys.